Hi everyone, welcome. My name is John Cottrell and this is Power Hour. This is a 60 minute power vinyasa yoga practice. So glad that you're here. So we are gonna be doing some dynamic flowing today, a nice dynamic yoga flow. And it's called shoulder workout. All right, we're gonna be doing a shoulder workout for our practice today. So that means we're gonna be loosening up our shoulders, stretching our shoulders, and strengthening our shoulders. We have a good flow. We got some balancing. We got some arm balancing postures in here too. Alrighty, so here's some props that you might need. Now I did mention a towel. A towel can come in handy. The towel, like a like little hand towel, will work fine. Not only to wipe sweat, but for something else. Or a yoga strap. I don't have a yoga strap with me, but if you happen to have one, grab that or again, just a hand towel. And then maybe a couple of yoga blocks. Something stackable, something that you can use uh, to bring the floor a little bit closer to you, that'd be great. Even a blanket if you happen to have one or something soft, that could be a towel uh, or a blanket for your hands and knees even to sit on. And I think that's it. Grab some bottled water and I think we're ready to go. So let's go ahead and start in mountain pose. So I invite you to stand nice and tall near the top of your mat and your feet about hip distance apart, toes pointing forward. And first just let your arms just hang down by your side and even give them a little shake. You can circle the wrist, wiggle your fingers, a little roll of the shoulders, a nice deep breath. And then just settle in, finding stillness in your body. And just continue with slow, deep breath as you make this connection. As you breathe deeply, it's a nice way to pay full attention to what's happening right now. So, so staying fully present in the moment. You're welcome to keep your eyes open. You can just gaze forward, even down at the ground. Or feel free to close your eyes as you take this short journey inward, preparing for your moving practice. As you stand tall in stillness, just take a moment, just notice the ground underneath you. You might even grip your mat with your toes. Notice the texture of your mat. Even noticing the crown of your head. Feel like it's being lifted up into the sky. Nice and tall and proud here. As you pay attention to your breathing, you may breathe in deeply and just feel the lengthening in your spine. Feel your lungs expand. Then exhale, just draw your navel inward toward your spine. This is the abdominal lock. We're going to be using this section of the body for several of our poses today. So we want to make sure we're able to engage here. So again, as you inhale, feel tall, lengthen spine, breath rising, filling up your lungs. Then your exhale, it's just a light contraction of your abdominal muscles, navel drawing in towards spine, connecting to your center body. Of course, we know that as the abdominal lock. Continue with your breathing. Go ahead and take three more slow, deep breaths, now preparing your body to move. And when you're ready, inhale and extend your arms overhead. Good reach, nice stretch. And exhale, let's fold forward, taking your time as you hinge at your hips. Bend your knees as you make your way down, perhaps touching your toes if you'd like. Inhale, slide your hands up to your shins, knees, or even your thighs to extend your spine so you're long and flat like a table. Exhale, let's fold again, coming back down. Let's hold here. As you're able, go ahead and hang heavily forward all the way down little weight shift towards your toes. Feel the lengthening in your hamstrings. Feel the lengthening all down through your back, this curvature in the spine. Focusing on your shoulders. Even loosen them up here. Shake them out a little bit, some circles. Even shake your head, maybe nod yes, shake your head no. Let's get ready to stand. So we'll shift the weight back into the heels. Bend your knees. Feel like you're sitting down into a low chair. Look forward. Take your arms out to the side. Inhale and stand up all the way. Reach up into the air. 
and exhale, bring your arms down by your side. Just pause here for a moment, taking a breath in and out. Make sure your shoulders are still relaxed down away from your earlobes. Let's do that same sequence one more time. Here we go, inhale, extending your arms into the air, big stretch. Exhale, lead with your heart, fold forward, keep your knees nice and soft. Inhale, let's rise up halfway, feel the top of your head lead you forward, lengthen spine. Exhale, fold, come all the way down, complete the release. Weight shift into your heels, bend your knees, look forward, extend your arms out. Then stand up all the way, reaching all the way up into the air. Exhale, arms back down by your side. Come back to stillness. Deep breath in and out, maybe one more time. That's our half salute to the sun. We're going to continue the sequence, adding on to our sun salutation. We'll start with series A. <clears throat> when you're ready, inhale, extend your arms back up into the air. Exhale, let's fold forward. Make your way down. Inhale, rise up halfway, long flat back. Exhale, bend your knees, let the back round. Come all the way down until you can place your hands on the ground. And step or walk both of your feet back into plank pose. Hold here very strongly, pressing hands into the earth, strong straight arms. Inhale. As you exhale, bend your knees slightly, send your hips into the sky, downward facing dog. Now you might need to make some adjustments here with the feet and with your hands. And just settle in. Now you can just hold in stillness if you'd like or maybe pedal the feet as one heel lifts, the other heel press down, and then alternate, feeling a stretch perhaps in your calves, your toes, let your knees bend, even allow your hips to shift side to side. While all that's happening in the lower half of the body, pay attention to the upper half, maybe spread out your fingers a little wider, press firmly into the ground, strong arms, Feel this energy in your shoulders and upper back. Then come back to stillness and down dog. Take a nice full breath in, fill up your lungs. Exhale, engage your belly, walk, step, or hop. Both feet returning to the top of the mat, extending through your spine. Exhale, fold. Weight shift into your heels. Inhale, reverse your swan dive. Come all the way up, reach into the air. Exhale, arms down by your side. Okay, we're gonna move right away into series B. Inhale, reach into the air. Exhale, take chair pose. Weight shift into the heels of the feet. Feel like you're sitting back into a chair that's behind you. Inhale, extending out through your arms. Exhale, dive out of your seat down towards toes, forward fold. Inhale, rise up halfway. We'll call it monkey pose. Exhale, bend, round your spine, hands to the ground. Step back, plank pose. Once you're here, breathe in. Exhale, bend elbows, lower your body in a straight line down towards the ground. Inhale, press away from the ground, lifting just to your chest to face forward. You'll be in a back bend. Then exhale, downward facing dog, just onto your toes, lifting your hips up into the air. Make that same adjustment with hands and feet. Let's take a lunge. Let's start with the right leg. So inhale, extend your right leg up into the air behind you. And exhale, right foot to the top of the mat or near your right hand. Turn your left heel to the floor, put some pressure in that back foot, extending your torso over the front thigh. Inhale, rise up, reach into the air, warrior one. Exhale, fold, hinge at the hips, bring your hands back down to the ground. Step back, plank pose, bend elbows, lower your way down. This is Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, nice long legs and point your toes behind you. Exhale, onto your toes now, lifting hips into the air. Other side when you're ready, inhale to extend left leg up and back. Exhale, stepping through, left foot to the top of the mat, right heel plants into the ground behind you. Extend your torso over the front thigh. Inhale to rise up facing forward, reaching into the air, warrior one. Exhale, hinge, fold, hands to the ground. Step back, plank, finish the flow, coming down. Inhale, press into the ground, straighten your arms, heart forward, shoulders back. Exhale. Downward facing dog, hips nice and high. Let's pause here. We're gonna go down to the ground and take a seat. So feel free just to kneel, take a seat briefly in hero, take a seat 
in the center of your mat and go ahead and roll down onto your back. We're gonna lie down with knees bent, feet on the ground. We'll pause for a moment just to make this connection to the earth. So we'll feel the feet connect to the earth, your entire back, and even the back of your head. Just notice these, con these connections. We're gonna move into bridge pose. We'll start with a nice full breath in, fill up your lungs. Exhale, releasing the breath. Navel pulls down towards spine as you engage your muscles and then peel away from the ground, lifting your hips up into the air. We're going to get the upper body involved here, getting the shoulders and arms underneath you as best as you can. So you might rock left and right several times, getting the arms and shoulders underneath you. That'll open the chest. You can bend your elbows, press your triceps and elbows down into the ground. This may stabilize the body a little bit more. As you open up through the chest, you might even feel this in the front portion of the shoulders because the expansion and opening of the front body, the chest, upper chest region also is connected to the front portion of your shoulders. Let's take two more breaths. Then wiggle your toes forward a little bit. Extend your arms up into the air. That'll get your shoulders and arms out from underneath you. Slowly roll your way back down to the ground. Soft landing. Inhale, bring knees to chest. Exhaling, rocking forward and back. Maybe take several breaths if you need to, but eventually with a good exhale, rock your way up to seated so we can come to boat pose. So here you might have the feet lifted off the ground, but you can certainly do boat with the heels on the ground. I'm going to do mine with with mine lifted, shins maybe parallel to the floor, flexed feet. Do energize your legs by flexing your feet or even point your toes. I typically flex the feet. Holding onto the backs of the legs to extend the spine. You want to feel lifted. Be aware if you feel collapsed or you feel like you're dropping down to the earth. Experience this uplifting sensation as best as you can. A couple more breaths. Inhaling again to extend. Feel the breath rise up to fill up your lungs. Exhaling to draw belly in, making that core connection. Let's move on this next one. We'll breathe in, then exhale, cross legs, hands in front, hop or step back into plank pose. Let's take a shortcut to down dog. Just bend your knees a little, send your hips into the air, down dog. Returning to a lunge series, we're going to inhale, extend right leg up. You're going to open this up by bending your knee, bring your heel down towards backside, lifting the knee, a little bit, a bit of a twist, even feel like you might step over yourself. Like this right foot wants to come right down to the floor on the left side of your mat. So we just feel that kind of a stretch sensation through the right side. I feel this kind of the, in the right hip area down in the belt line. Meanwhile, hands are still firmly pressing into the earth, keeping them even. Just be aware if you're dipping or sinking or collapsing into your left shoulder. Inhale. Let's exhale to unwind it. Step through, right foot to the top of the mat, warrior one. We're gonna rise up and exhale, opening to warrior two. We're gonna hold this warrior two for a moment and do several things. First of all, you might take the feet out a little wider so you can lunge a little deeper. Then extending your arms out parallel. Just feel the energy in your arms and shoulders. We're gonna do several things here. First, there's the reaching sensation. Now just turn your palms up and then bring your elbows down towards your ribs. We feel like your elbows are actually coming back and down behind you. So this will open up through the shoulders right here. here. You'll engage your back muscles as you do this. Follow me. We're going to inhale, reach out, palms down, warrior two style. Exhale, palms up, bring elbows in towards ribs. That's the exhale. Do it again. Inhale, reach out. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, reach out. Exhale, bring it in. Hold. Keep breathing. Now this right arm, just bring it to right thigh and extend left arm up into the air. Reach and open. Really feel this opening of the body. A couple more breaths. Then from here, we're going to bring this left hand down behind you to your low back. Right here. 
or you can bring it to left hip or around your body to right hip or thigh. You choose. Hold here for several breaths. Then we'll inhale, re-extend this left arm up into the air, just getting some good mobility in the shoulder. Left arm up, exhale, turn, hands to the floor. Let's step back into plank pose. We're going to right side plank. He's going to turn sideways. So right hands on the floor, straight legs if you can, flexed feet. Again, flexed feet are going to keep the legs strong. You can stack the legs and feet, or if you need to, stagger them, one in front of the other. And this left hand again reaching up into the air. Won't be here long. Breathe in. Exhale, return to plank pose. And then a shortcut to down dog. And take a little break. You're going to bring your knees to the ground. We're going to go to child's pose. So you can take the knees a little wider, sit back and down, maybe hips down towards heels. Extend your arms out front. You can bring your forehead down to the mat, or you can bring in your blanket or towel, or even a block. Sometimes I like to rest my forehead on a block in this pose. Make this very active so the hips feel like they're reaching back towards your heels or toes while your hands are reaching to the front edge or corners of your mat. Feel what's happening in your upper back and maybe your shoulders. A couple more breaths here. And then we're going to relax the shoulders just by, you can just kind of just soften the arms, right, like this. Just bring the elbows down so that you're just kind of just resting here. You can even bring the hands behind you like so as if you're reaching for your heels or feet, and you can just kind of really loosen, just hang here. Just take several breaths. Two more. Bring the hands out front, come up to hands and knees. Stay on hands and knees. Pad your hands and knees if you need to, just come onto your blanket. You can even fold your mat, something like this. Maybe just fold your mat if you need a little extra support or cushion for your hands and wrists. You need, move into cat and cow, that flow. So we'll inhale, look forward and up, arching the back. Exhale, round it out. And just keep flowing at your own pace. Inhale to look forward, creating the back bend and cow pose. Exhale, round it into cat. And just notice the nice undulation of your spine, the rocking of your pelvis. This also affects the shoulders, even though your arms aren't moving, but your torso is. Good. Finish the breath that you're on and take two more. done, just come to stillness on hands and knees. Let's get ready for down dog. You'll tuck your toes and with a good exhale, let's lift the knees and hips into the air. Okay, other side. So we're going to inhale, extend left leg up into the air, bend and twist. So the heel comes down towards your backside, lifting knee up into the air. Feel that rotation through the torso. Even feel like you're going to step over yourself. Okay, now again, being aware of what happens to the hands and arms. I can already feel a shift of energy. I feel like I'm going to collapse and sink into my right shoulder. But as best as I can, all I have to do is just push more firmly into the ground with the left, right hand, stabilizing and aligning the uh, shoulders or upper back as I continue to rotate. Nice hip opener. Let's inhale here. As you exhale, unwind it and step through. Left foot to the top of the mat. Right heel plants into the ground. Warrior one, you'll inhale to float up, reaching into the air. And our exhale to warrior two. We'll settle, in, settle into the pose. Nice and tall in the torso. Extended arms, so a dynamic reach to the arms. Maybe a little bit more distance between the feet. Deep lunge. All right, we're just asking for stamina in the arms here, shoulders. Now flip the palms up, 
and bring elbows down towards ribs, reaching as if you're reaching behind you with your elbows. Then inhale, we extend the arms, palms down, warrior two style. Exhale, palms up, elbows in towards ribs. Inhale, reach. Exhale, one more time. Inhale, reach. Extend, exhale, bend elbows, hold. Keep breathing. And then we'll bring left forearm down to left thigh as we extend right arm up into the air. Reach. This is where we kind of get into some mobility of the shoulder and just, just noticing how we can move the arm in so many directions. You're going to bring your right hand down behind you to low back. If you can't quite reach, you can just bring it to right hip. Or maybe you can reach all the way around your body and touch your left hip or thigh. Nice opening of your heart towards the right side of the room. You can even turn your gaze upward towards the ceiling. Okay, it gets into the neck, which also is connected to the shoulder. Okay, let's re-extend the right hand up into the air. And turn, we'll bring the hands down to the ground. Step back into plank pose. Here, take a partial push-up, means you're gonna bend your elbows as if you're gonna go down to Chaturanga, but only go down a little bit and then push away to downward facing dog. Little sink of the chest. Let's come back out to plank pose. We need to do our side plank. So stay on the left hand, spin open towards the right side of the room. Opening up, right hand towards the ceiling. Even feel the right hip lifting towards the ceiling. Legs are straight and strong. Now you could place the left knee on the ground for a little extra stability if you need to. Let's breathe in. Exhale, return slowly to plank pose. You can do that same partial push up. Bend elbows a little, push away, down dog. Adjust the feet, adjust the hands and gently send the chest downward towards the ground, a little sinking sensation. All right, take a nice full breath in. Exhale, walk, step, or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale to extend your spine with a fold on the exhale. Inhale, reverse your swan dive, come to standing, reaching into the sky. Exhale, arms down by your side. All righty. Already get into some good shoulder work, so let's just take a moment, just kind of shake that out. Wiggle the fingers. Circle the wrists, roll your shoulders. Even get a sip of water if you like. While you do that, I'm just gonna adjust my mat. There we go. All right, we're gonna do a couple of balancing things here. And some shoulder work, of course. All right, let's start with tree pose. So, we're gonna start shifting the weight into the right foot, pressing into the floor with the foot. Nice and tall up top, you'll inhale. Fill up the lungs, exhale to engage, so as we get ready for balancing, float left foot up into the air, maybe thigh comes to parallel, flex your foot, and then take the knee out to the side of the room, and placing foot on the inside of your standing leg. Then as you inhale, reach up into the sky, reach straight up like this, and then open it up to a V, then bend elbows to a U shape. Pull the arms back to open up through the chest and then squeeze elbows together. Maybe just to here, they don't have to touch. Shoot the arms all the way back up, keep them up, swing left knee forward, bring foot down, arms down by your side. Shake it up. Okay, so our tree pose, which of course is balancing and a little arm work. When you're ready, start shifting weight into the left foot, root down into the floor, nice and tall up top. Inhale to feel that lengthened spine. Exhale, engaging here in the center, floating right foot up with the flex foot, thigh parallel. Knee opens, hip opens, foot to the inner leg. Let's inhale, take both arms up into the air, straight up and down as you're able. Open it up to a V, into a U. Just bend the elbows, hold. Pull the arms back, opening up through the chest, you'll engage your back muscles, and then squeeze, bring your elbows together. Shoot the arms straight up into the air. 
Swing right knee forward. Place the foot on the ground, arms back down by your side. Shake it out. All righty. Okay, more balancing, more arm and shoulder work. Let's take eagle pose. So I'm gonna turn my back to you just so I don't confuse my left and right. Okay, so, so I should be doing the same thing as you are. Okay, we're gonna start with the arms. You're gonna inhale, extend the arms up into the air, reach high. As you exhale, slowly bring them down. Pay attention to your left arm. Bring them down, bring your arms down in front of you. Your, right, your left arm will come down and underneath or behind your right arm, crossing at the elbows, making an X like this. Spin your palms forward or up, lift the hands while so bending the elbows, and then you're gonna, if you can, wrap up the arms, just like that. A little bend of the knees, put weight into your right foot. Exhale, core engagement, pick up the left foot, cross left over right. Squeeze, squeeze the legs a little tighter, squeeze the arms a little tighter. And then if you can, lift the elbows a little bit so they're working their way to be a little bit more parallel with your shoulders. Now they may not lift all the way up, that's okay. And just squeeze a little tighter. Keep the legs crossed, but unwind the arms. Bring them down, uncross them, reach up into the air. Then bring them down by your side and back behind you, reach. So the shoulders are rolled back, even squeezing shoulder blades together. The legs are still crossed, left over right. Keep the arms as they are. We're gonna uncross the leg, plant the feet, reach arms up into the sky, and then down by your side once again. Shake it all out, okay? So it's eagle pose, and then we're gonna change things up a little bit. So other side, I'm just gonna turn away again. Inhale, take both arms up. As you exhale, bring the arms down, pay attention to your right arm, bring them down. Your right arm will come down and behind or underneath the left, crossing at the elbows, making an X. Spin the palms forward, bend elbows to lift the hands, and then as you can, wrap up the arms. Put a little bend in the knees. Shift your weight into left foot. Core engagement, exhale. Cross right leg over left, entirely over the left. Squeeze the legs a little tighter together. Squeeze the arms a little bit tighter. Lift elbows slightly so they're making their way towards parallel with the shoulders. Squeeze a little tighter, keep your gaze forward even though you're maybe looking right at your hands. Keep the legs crossed. We're gonna unwrap the arms, drop them, unwind, reach out and up. Legs still crossed. Arms come down and behind you as if you're reaching for the back corners of your mat. Shoulders roll back, squeeze shoulder blades together. Whoa, that does take, take a lot of balance. Focus on something out in front of you. Keep arms as they are, uncross the legs, plant your feet. Reach both arms up into the air, inhale. Exhale, arms down by your side. Shake it all out. Well done. Okay, let's continue our flow. More work on the ground. Starting a mountain pose. Here we go. Inhale, reach into the sky. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, monkey pose. Exhale, hands to the ground. Step both feet back, plank pose. Come on down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, shoulders roll back as best as you can, heart forward. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, extend right leg up into the air, bend and twist. As if you're gonna step over, and you could step all the way over into wild thing if you'd like. Then unwind it, step through, warrior one. Left heel plants, rise up, reach up. Exhale, opening, warrior two. Okay, same thing, wider stance, deeper lunge, extend the arms. Inhale, reach through the fingertips. Exhale, palms up, elbows bend, come in towards ribs. Two more, inhale, reach. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, reach out. Exhale, elbows come in, hold. Right arm to right thigh, left hand reaching up into the air. Bring left hand down behind you. 
Now, if you're able, either, either you can stay here or release this arm from the leg, go down a little lower and see if you can bind this pose. So I'm just reaching with this right hand underneath right leg, reaching up to find left set of fingers and hook. Inhale, re-extend the arms floor to ceiling. Turn, bring hands to the floor. Step back, plank, chaturanga. Up dog and downward facing. All right, other side. Inhale, extend left leg up. Bend and twist, maybe flip the dog into wild thing if you'd like. Then flip it back over, stepping through, left foot to the top of the mat. Right heel plants, rise up. First warrior, exhale, opening to warrior two. Deep lunge, outstretched arms. Inhale to reach more. Exhale, flip palms up, elbows pull in. Two more. Inhale, reach. Exhale, elbows bend, pull in. One more. Inhale, reach through fingertips out. Exhale, elbows pull in, hold. Left arm comes to left thigh. Right arm reaches up into the air. Then bring right hand down behind you to low back. Now again, you can stay just like this or extend this left arm, go down a little lower and then reach underneath left leg, bind as you're able. It's, this is now where your towel can come in handy. If you can't quite reach the fingers to hook them, grab that hand towel and you can bridge the gap just by holding onto the towel in both hands. Let's inhale to re-extend the arms, floor to ceiling, turn, hands to the ground. Step back, plank pose, complete the series. Finishing in downward facing dog. Give okay, another lunge series here. Inhale, extend right leg up. Keep the leg straight this time, reach back. Exhale, right foot to the top of the mat. Let's go to high lunge. So left heel stays lifted, all 10 toes are pointing directly forward. Find your center, then rise up. Reach up into the sky, hold. So you're gonna reach high, lunge low. Hold that for a moment, find the balance. Now you're gonna bring your arms down to the side, just reach out like you're in an airplane. You're gonna to start to hinge forward with the upper body. As you hinge forward, start reaching back with your hands just for the balance. Okay, so your hands are kind of reaching back for the back corners of your mat. Long spine, 45 degree angle. Stay here, but if you're able, interlace your fingers behind you. The hands can rest on the back. That'll help the shoulders, but to make it a little bit more dynamic, lift the hands away from the back body, reaching back through your knuckles to the back edge of your mat. Shoulders roll back, squeezing shoulder blades together. That left foot or left heel really is trying to act as an anchor, keeping you balanced. Now go ahead and pivot that left heel to the floor and you'll kind of turn to your left side a little bit and then fold going into humble warrior. So the knuckles, same thing, are reaching away Maybe up to the back of the room, maybe, maybe even up towards the ceiling or even over your head completely, depending on how flexible your shoulders happen to be. Then bring the arms down, release the fingers, turn towards the front of the mat, plant your palms, rise up onto tiptoes behind you so you're in a lunge. Right foot slides back, plank, right side plank. Reach. Inhale. Exhale, left hand back down to the floor. Partial push up, downward facing dog. Okay, other side. So inhale, extend left leg into the air. Left foot to the top of the mat, high lunge. Right heel stays lifted, all 10 toes pointing forward. Find the centering of the body. Rise up when you're ready. High lunge, reach up, lunge low. 
bring your arms down to parallel like an airplane, reaching outward. Start to hinge forward, coming to 45 degrees as you reach back with your hands, reaching for the back corners of your mat. Roll shoulder blades together behind you, engage your back muscles. This is opening the front body, shoulders. My hands are kind of like blades, reaching back through the fingers. Stay here, or if you can, interlace the fingers. Just giving a little bit more traction back there. Then pivot right heel to the floor. Your body will turn a little bit towards the right side of the room, and then fold. Humble warrior. Not only does this get into the shoulders and chest, but also the legs. Let's bring the arms down, release the fingers, spin towards the front of the mat. Hands come down, framing the left foot. Slide left foot back plank, left side plank. Breathe in and exhale, return to plank pose, hold. Bring knees to the ground. Let's return to child's pose. First, we'll make it active. So sit back and down towards heels as you extend your arms out front. You're gonna feel a bit more energy in the arms and shoulders and upper back. A couple breaths here. After those couple of breaths, you can relax the arms and shoulders. This, they can just kind of drop right here in front or even reach behind you not, for, not active at all, just the arms just reaching back, the, arm, the shoulders just drop to the ground, towards the ground. Three more breaths. Okay, bring the arms out front. Come up to hands and knees. Now we're going to, to dolphin pose. So let's start by just bringing the arms down to the floor, elbows towards the floor right here, all the way to the floor actually. Arms can be completely parallel. We can even bring the hands in a little bit so your thumbs and index fingers touch. Let's, tr let's do cat and cow, okay? So you're gonna inhale like you're doing cow pose, arching the back, and you'll feel kind of this in the, in the, just be in the shoulder blades, like right between the shoulder blades a little bit. Then exhale, round it out like you're doing cat, and feel the broadening of the back. And as you do that, even press your palms more firmly into the ground. Do that again. Inhale like you're doing cat pose. Everything kind of collapses and sinks as you create the back bend. Exhale, round it, pressing palms into the floor, core engage. One more time. Take this slowly so you can feel this. Arching the back, you're looking forward. Feel that collapse or engage feeling in the between the shoulder blades, then round it out. Hold this rounded sensation, but keep breathing. Root it into the floor with your hands and forearms. Rounded spine. Belly button pulling up towards spine. That's the engagement. Now tuck your toes. Next, exhale. Lift knees off the ground. Lift hips into the air. You might need to tiptoe forward a little bit. Here's your dolphin. So really rooting firmly into the ground. Hips high. Keep your dolphin arms. Step your feet back. Walk the feet back. So you're more in a straight line like this. We'll call this dolphin plank. Still pressing forearms into the ground so you don't collapse, because I just noticed I collapsed. So if you keep rooting down and even feel like you're trying to broaden your upper back, you've got it. Bring knees to the floor. Quick child's pose. Hands stay out in front. Come back up to hands and knees. Downward facing dog. Jump, step, or walk, both feet up to the top of the mat. Stay on your feet. Inhale to extend spine. Exhale, fold. Weights in the heels, bend your knees. Inhale, reverse your swan dive. Come all the way up, reach into the sky. Exhale, arms down by your side. 
All right, give them another good shake. All right, let's play with a little sequence up here. So it's gonna start with eagle pose, and it's gonna step back into a lunge. And it's a lunge we've already done, okay? So standing near the top of your mat, mountain pose. We're gonna do eagle pose, standing on the right foot. Start with the arms. Inhale, both arms up into the air. As you exhale, bring the arms down slowly. Pay attention to your left arm. Bring it down and behind the right. Cross at the elbows, flip palms up, bend elbows, and wrap up the arms. Little bend in the knees, shift weight into right foot, root. Exhale, pull belly in so you can cross left leg entirely over the right. Squeeze thighs, squeeze arms, lift elbows. Keep the leg posturing, unwrap the arms, reach all the way up into the air, Bring them down like airplane wings. Hinge forward just barely as you reach behind you with the hands. Make the blades with the fingers. Interlace fingers if you're able. Reaching back through your knuckles. So we're still in this cross-legged position. We're gonna uncross the leg. You'll lift a little bit. So you lift this left knee so the thigh is parallel and then kick back into the high lunge. So we're here. Pivot left heel to the floor. Humble warrior. Stay in the fold. Release the arms. Reach out to the front and back ends of your mat. Right hand comes down to the floor. Left hand reaches up, you'll kind of open up towards the left side of the room. So you can bring left hand down behind you, bind, right arm underneath, catch those fingers or go ahead and grab that towel. Inhale, re-extend the arms floor to ceiling. Turn, hands to the floor, step back, plank pose. Partial push up to down dog. Some nice upper body work. Dolphin. Now you can bring the knees to the floor first, then bring the elbows, or if you're able, just bring elbows down to the ground. Root into the ground with the forearms and hands, broadening the back, stabilizing the upper body in this position. Keep your dolphin arms, but step feet back until you're in dolphin plank. We're adding a pose here. This right hand, just tap your right hand. Swing it over so it, your hand is reaching towards left hand, so the right arm is angled. Because we're going to spin open sideways to side plank on right forearm. Lifting. Breathe in. Exhale, left forearm back down to the floor. Stay here. Bring knees to the ground. Sit back, child's pose. Extend the arms. Relax the arms. Take a breath. Come up to hands and knees. Cat cow. Inhale, look up. Arching the back, rounding spine one time. Hold. Step hands forward slightly, tuck toes. Lift knees and hips, down dog. Breathe in. Exhale, walk, step or hop, both feet up to the top of the mat. Inhale, extend spine. Exhale, fold. Weights in the heels, bend your knees. Inhale, reverse your swan dive. Come all the way up, reach high. Exhale, arms down by your side. Very nice. Just a quick rest. Shake out those shoulders. That's pretty much the complete sequence. <laughs> Alrighty. We're gonna go through the left side and then we're gonna do the whole series again. Really kind of picking up the pace so we can really feel the flow. All right, so other side, starting with eagle pose. Begin with the arms, inhale, reach into the sky. Exhale, bring arms down, pay attention to the right arm as that right arm comes down and behind the left, crossing at the elbows. Lift the hands, wrap them up. Little bend in the knees. Weight shift into left foot, press. Core engagement, cross right leg over left, squeeze tightly. Squeeze the leg, squeeze your arms, lift elbows. 
keep squeezing the legs, stay in the cross-legged position, unwrap the arms, reach out and up, down to airplane wings, hinge forward slightly as you reach back behind you with the hands, squeeze the legs a little tighter, interlace fingers, shoulders roll back, squeeze shoulder blades together. Lifting up, uncross the leg, lift the knee, thigh parallel to the ground, and then step back, high lunge. But you've still got the little fingers behind you. Pivot right heel to the floor, humble warrior, fold. Stay in the fold, but release the hands. Bring left hand to the floor on the inside of the leg. Right arm swings open and up into the air, actually. So it opens the front body to the right side of the room. Right hand comes to behind you. As you're able, bind. Use the towel if you need to. Inhale, re-extend the arms floor to ceiling. Turn, bring the hands to the floor. Step back, plank pose. Partial push up to down dog. We're going to dolphin here, so you're welcome to place knees on the floor first, then bring elbows down, or bring the elbows down without bringing the knees down. If you brought the knees down, lift them back up, dolphin. Press firmly into the ground with the forearms and hands, rounded upper back, broadened upper back, core engaged. Step feet back, dolphin plank pose. Tall, tap the left hand, swing it over towards the right to angle that left arm so you can open up sideways with good stability into side plank on the elbow. Right hand reaching up as the right hip is lifting in the air as well. Strong left shoulder and arm. Make sure you're lifting up out of that shoulder girdle. Inhale, exhale, bring the right forearm back down to the floor. Stay here, dolphin plank. Knees to the floor, child's pose, arms extended. Relax the arms. Back up to hands and knees. Cat and cow. As you start with cow, exhale cat, hold cat. Step hands forward, tuck toes, lift knees downward facing dog. Jump step or walk, both feet up to the top of the mat. Inhale, monkey. Exhale, fold. Weights in the heels, bent knees. Inhale, reverse swan dive. Come up to standing. Reach up into the air. Exhale, arms down by your side. Very nice. All right, that's pretty much the sequence. I'm going to change it up just a little bit. Just a little bit, but pretty much those same postures. Flowing, moving at your own pace, putting it all together. Starting a mountain pose. Let's just hold in stillness for a couple breaths. Just kind of gather yourself and return to the present moment. Starting with eagle. Inhale, extend arms up into the air. Exhale, bring the arms down. Pay attention to left arm. Bring left arm down and behind the right. Cross with the elbows. Lift and wrap. Bend the knees. Send weight into the right foot. Connect. Cross left over right. Squeeze. Release the arms out and up, and then down and back. Interlace fingers. Squeeze legs a little tighter. Shoulder blades roll back. Rise up, get the left thigh parallel to the floor. Step back, high lunge. Pivot left heel to the floor, turning a bit, folding. Humble warrior. This is where we're gonna change it a little bit. Releasing the hands, Spin so you're facing the front of the mat, hands down to the floor. Step back, plank pose, right side plank. Opening up, just an inhale to open. Exhale, return, left hand to the floor. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg extends up into the air, bend and twist. Really rotate, don't collapse into the left shoulder, however. Unwind, step through, right foot to the top of the mat. Left heel plants, warrior one. Open, warrior two. Side angle. 
reach up and down, bind. Left arm comes down and behind, catch those fingers, grab your towel. And not here long, release. Inhale, re-extend arms, floor to ceiling. Turn, hands to the floor, step back, plank pose. Partial push up, down dog, right into dolphin. Step the feet back, dolphin plank. Right side plank, so you can angle the right arm opening up sideways. Left hand reaches into the air, inhale. Exhale, left arm comes back down, dolphin plank. Knees to the floor. Quick child's pose, arms extended out front. Come up to hands and knees. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat, tuck toes, lift knees, hips, down dog. That's our sequence. Hop forward to the top of the mat on both feet. Inhale, monkey. Exhale, fold. We're going right into the next section. Inhale, rise all the way up. Reach to the sky, keep it moving. Exhale, bring the arms down. Now bring right arm down and behind left. Going to those eagle arms, cross at the elbows, wrap it up. Bend the knees, shift weight into left foot, root. Core connected, cross right over left, squeeze. Legs and arms, lift elbows slightly. Release the arms out and up. Down to parallel, hinge forward slightly, reach back. Interlace fingers, squeeze legs tighter. Squeeze shoulder blades together. Lift, uncross the leg, lift right knee. Kick back, step back, high lunge. Pivot to open warrior, or sort of humble warrior, coming all the way down. Releasing the hands, spin to the front, hands to the front of the mat. Step back, plank pose, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, downward facing dog. I missed a piece, so just shift your body back out to plank, left side plank. Inhale, reach up, exhale back to plank. Just take a shortcut to down dog. Inhale, left leg into the air, bend and twist without over rotating or sinking or collapsing into right shoulder. Unwind, step through left foot to the top of the mat. Warrior one, plant that back heel, rise up. Open warrior two, side angle, left hand down, right hand up, bind. Right hand comes down behind you, see if you can bind the pose. Use the towel or catch the fingers. Not here long. Release, inhale, re-extend arms, top to bottom. Turn, hands to the floor. Step back, plank. Partial push up to down dog. Dolphin. Step the feet back, dolphin plank. Left side plank. Left arm can bend for more stability. Opening up sideways. Right hand reaching up, right hip lifting up. Rising out of that left shoulder, breathe in. Exhale left, I'm sorry, right arm comes back down. Dolphin plank, knees to the ground, child's pose. Arms extended, now arms relaxed. That's gonna complete our series, very nice. Couple breaths here, catch your breath. We'll begin to get, catch your breath, knowing that now we're on the downside of our practice. Time to relax. Rise up to hero. Very nice. Okay, we're just going to take a seat. Swing the legs around to the front. Sit in the center of your mat. I'm just going to adjust my mat. Go ahead and lie down onto your back. As you lie down, go ahead and hug knees into chest. We're going to finish with a twist. Taking the knees over to the left side. Extend your right arm off to the right side. Still taking the time to pay attention to breathing. Slow, deep breath so we can come back to that baseline of breath. Two more breaths on this first side. When you're ready, return to center. You might even pause in center just to come back to neutral. Stay here a little longer if you like. Keep checking in with breath. 
Notice, notice if you're still out of breath. That will change shortly. Okay, knees over down to the other side. Knees to the right, left arm extends to the left. And just think about all that shoulder work. A lot of strength building for sure. Okay, a lot of mobility, reaching up and out to the side, reaching behind you. With those eagle arms, it brings the arms in front. A little bit of a stretch to the back portion of the shoulders. So you did a lot of work today. Two more breaths. Our dynamic shoulder work today. Let's come back up to center. One more hug. And then Shavasana, extending the legs out front. Arms down by your side. I want to give you plenty of time for relaxation and meditation. And as you make your way to the earth, really sink and melt. Take several breaths. Uh, maybe, maybe even breathe out with a sigh so you can experience mm, the softening of the body. Of course, your eyes can remain open. You can also close your eyes here. Just settle in, gentle breathing. Noticing now if you're able to take slow, deep breaths, longer breaths. Stay here as long as you'd like, feeling this complete relaxation through your body. Not only did you work your shoulders, but upper body, hips, legs. So stay in this restful, restful position as long as you need. Even as I end the practice, you can stay here. When you are ready to move, start with breath, maybe taking five slow, deep breaths. And as you're beginning to take these deep breaths, feel movement return to your body. And again, you're welcome to stay here longer. You can take more breaths if you'd like before you move. Sometime after the fifth breath, slowly and carefully roll onto either side of your body, just moving into a nurturing pose. Pausing here for a moment if you'd like. Continue to move in slow motion and guide your way up to seated. Maybe taking a seat on your blanket or block. You can sit with your legs crossed. Nice lengthening through the spine, sitting up tall. Just, just roll the shoulders once or twice and then completely relax them. Feel that relaxation move down through your arms and hands. And one more movement together. We'll inhale, extend the arms out and up into the air. As you exhale, bring your palms together at the top and then down to your heart. Hold here in stillness as you take one more breath. Very nice.
And as we come to the close of this portion of our journey together, we bow saying, Namaste.